Hey, but it's just smile one love, aka DJ Slick, aka Big Brown, aka Hassan. Men, I'm out of men. Many names in my life, so many names. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I'm gonna go tell you a little story. I think we need to know why so much killing going on in our city. Why young youth is just like I did, just run around like Ninja and Turtles, just spraying up the whole neighborhood and the community, just killing the community, killing your joyness from going out and doing things, party, block parties, anything you had, you you can't have no more because they just ruined it for themselves. But all this stuff comes from parent, you. You know your you, your mothers and your fathers. It come from home training. So all these little kids, all these young boys or whoever they are running around acting like ninja and turtle, it starts from your home. It's home training. It's called home training. And I had that in my life. Thank God I had that and a whole lot of guys my age, a whole lot of females my age. We we know what, what the kind of um, training that we had and guy that we had when we was young. I mean, because we they had rules in the house. You know, you sit there and talk back to your parents, your mother, your father, you sit in the room, folks. Conversation. First thing your mother say, um, get up out of here because this is grown folks talking. You ain't got no business sitting up ahead in, in grown folks' face. We had stuff like that. Certain times we had to come inside the house. When I was 15 years old, 16 years old, we got to be in the house by 10 o'clock. They, they, they don't have no kind of nothing no more, no no guiding, you know, no one to look up to. A lot of these um, young men don't have fathers in their life. You know, a lot of the, the mothers is young. they young mothers and they got young grandmothers, young grandfathers. And a lot of them didn't have no love in their house. So, you know, the chain of the game is, that, you know, you pass it down to the generations. So if you had no, no love in your house through generations, it's going to fall into generations. So all come from home training. I am I think I, you know, grow up in a house with, um, you know, six females, six sisters, and only boy. And I had a lot of, you know, friends, you know, brother-in-laws, you know, uh, men in my life that I could look up to. When I feel like I was falling off, my mother used to always call me in her room and sit me down. I call it kangaroo court. She tell me, son, you all I got. She said, if I lose you, ain't no more you. So I, I took that conversation when I sit down and talk to my mother many days. May she rest in peace because she are really the, the, um, the strength and, and, and my backbone from where I'm at now today. Her and God made me the man that I am today where I ain't got to go out there acting like no fools running around like I ain't had no house training like that. Who does that, right? Not me, for sure. So um, for that being said, you know, um, conversation, you got to have conversation with your kids. You got to know where your children are at at a certain time. You know, if you inside the house, your kids ain't in the house at 1 o'clock in the morning. More to the story, they're out there doing something wrong, they got nothing to do. You know, you, you got to call them up, get in this house. But, you know, what's going on now is parents, you need to get involved with your children. We don't want to keep going to make shit memorials and, and blooms sent off every time a week and all this. We're getting tired of that. You know what I mean? Aren't you getting tired of this? You know, we you know it's like when that go around, it's like back to normal routine, and to somebody else lose a, a young child. Cause I'm telling you, all this affect the other, all of us as a community. Cause the young black brothers and young black sisters are dying in these streets of Philadelphia in our community that where we live at, where we grew up at. So we got to really, we got to, we really got to come together. We got to try to do something. The the guy, this thing, they need to bring the clubs back there. I mean, when I grew up down North Philly, that's right. I'm North Philly, North Philly breed, rolled up. North Philly, okay? Nothing but love there. We had a club called R. W. Brown Boys Club. Those who live out down, down the way, down North Philly, up in there, all up in there, right? we grew up at, uh, you know, they know about R. W. Brown Boys Club. You know, that's we had places to go. We had uh, after school activity. They took all the stuff to, um, in school. They took everything away. They had, when I went to Edison High School at Ethan Lee High, they had plumbing. They had mechanical work. They had electrician. They took all of it out. So what do you expect the kids to do? Give the, you know, you took the summer jobs away. When I was 16, 17, uh, 15, 14, 13, they gave us jobs working on Play Street, working like we was like young counselors working with kids. And our job consisted as, you know, staying um, for eight hours, feeding um, kids breakfast, playing with them, doing, you know, reenact with them, playing ball, you know, all kind of, you know, with the games, you know, with the girls and the boys. We had fun. So they just need to bring that back again. I'm t they need to bring back that again. They need to bring back what the same used to call Safe Street. They need to bring Safe Street back because we need Safe Street. We need Safe Street in our community and around the globe. And not just Philadelphia. This this killing, this killing is going on all over. Chicago, New York, L.A., you name it, everywhere. So it's not just happening in Philly. It's crime everywhere. Ain't no way you can run. I'm going to move about to Philadelphia. I can't take this here. Where you running to? You can't run. You're going to be in the most quietest home in the house. They kill everybody there. They kill the dog. They kill the whatever. What are you doing? They was home. 
So a uh, quiet place can be dangerous too. So you can't run. We got to, this. Got to be fixed. Only way it's gonna fix it, I think the the men they the men you know they need the black men. We need to step up. We need to do some things. We need to, um uh I don't know what protests gonna do, but we need to do something. Uh, you know, put out our first foot forward. You know what I mean? So we can help these young brothers out. So I say all go from home. Come from home. Guidance. Guidance. Respect one other. We had respect when I was coming. We respect our older people in back in the days. This is Mr. Johnson, Mrs. Jones, you know what I'm saying? I used to go to the store for them. Hey, can you pick me up? I'm in the store. We made sure we protect them. We didn't they didn't have no fear in us as we were young boys out there in these streets. You know, we was in these streets before they was. They was our streets before these the new generation. We took care of our streets. I'm not saying everything was perfect, no. But we had our bumps and grooves, but most of the time we handled with this hair. Instead of guns, we handled with this. Give out a little rumble. Yeah, he beat you. Uh, uh, you beat him. Drink a beer. Hug and be married. You know what I mean? Until next time you fight again. You know, maybe he get you back next time. But um, all the jokes aside, we need some love in this city. And then I pray every day. I pray to God. I always talk about this here. I mean, I made many videos. I got a lot of videos out. I got a couple thousand videos out talking about different things. Not just um, violent, but just things, that, you know, keeping people, people spirit up. Um, keeping people, you know, the energy that I, I try to pour out of me, I try to pour out in y'all. So I appreciate, you know, when I put videos up, when I do anything, I'm trying to uplift y'all spirit. You feeling down, I'm trying to lift you up because sometimes I need to be lifted up sometimes. I'll be down, y'all don't know that. Don't let all that stuff fool you sometimes. You know, we all go through things um, um, every day. Sometimes people don't show it all the time, but we do go through it. So I'm just saying that we need to come together as a community under parents, the mothers and the fathers. Sisters, you got you got little boys, teenage boys, you know what I mean? And and you just got to try to talk to them or get some kind of man, a role model in their life, a, a brother, a, a uncle, a nephew, you know, an older nephew, somebody older than the family that they're going to talk to your sons and show them there's more to it out there than just going up there shooting and spreading them and killing each other. Because one thing, it's, there's no win to this. You feel what I'm saying? There's no win to this here. You can't win killing people because... Two families is broken. You know, you um, the family broken that you, you kill somebody and their family is broken because you're going to jail for the rest of your life or you might get the death penalty. Who want that kind of life? And if the young brothers out there listen, I'm saying to you, man, if y'all never had nobody say they love you, man, we love y'all, man. Y'all are the future of our world. Y'all the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next police officers, you know what I mean? You know, the next counselor, you know, the next, you know, whatever, you know, next boxer, you know, you might want to be a boxer, you know what I mean? Whatever, nice dancer, nice, next singer, nice, next rapper, next mechanic, next electrician, next trucker, you know? All them things is out there for you. Don't give your life up like that, young brothers. This is a this is a black man talking to the you know, talking to the young black brothers. You never had nobody talk to. There's more to than out there just killing and and hiding your identity and just killing people, just going up spraying people. You know, catching them on guard. That's not cool. We got to stop that. You got to pray. Maybe we got to need to get love in your life. Maybe we need to get Jesus in your life or Allah in your life. You need to get some kind of religion in your life because religion really works out. Because you got some kind of God in your life inside your heart. You ain't going to do harm because if I, if I love God, I can't harm you. You know what I mean? Only person don't love themselves is a savage and a beast. A savage and a beast cannot do I don't, I don't care about the person. I don't care about nobody feeling whenever I hurt somebody. That's a savage. A man that loves himself will not hurt no one, will hurt the other brother man. He'll hold his hand. He'll lift him up, not kick him down when he's down. So I hope, you know, I can, you know, see I, some words I don't know how to say. But I'm sick of this mess. I'm sick of this killing. I think we all around this country are sick of all this killing. Black on black crime. I'm not saying black people do crime. They all do crime. They just, we just sing without. We only ones on TV all the time on the news. Get it? And make it look like all of us are bad. And all black people is not bad. We got a whole lot of response. I'm a responsible black man. I worked all my life. Okay? Never been in the jail for nothing. You know what I mean? I believe in God. Jesus Christ is my savior. Right? So get some love in your life. I love y'all. Stay strong. Sisters and brothers, talk to your children because it all starts from home. You know who you are. You know them, your kids out there shooting, killing up everybody. Stop the drug, stop the violence. Put the guns down. Pick up a book. Pick up a Bible. Pick up a paper. Pick up something. Do something more positive than negative. One love. Jazz Smiley. Peace. Keep on doing the right thing. Safe streets.
bring Safe Street back. That's all I can say.